Hi everybody, Cynthia here. Hope you guys enjoyed your weekend. Um, I didn't do any videos this weekend because hubby and I were celebrating our 17th year wedding anniversary. We got married on Valentine's Day, as uh, many of you know. And uh, yeah, 17 years together. So we just decided to hang out. We went to, um... hey honey, what was that preservation we went to? Yesterday? Yeah. Called Government Road. Yeah, but it's Seminole something. Oh, it's the Seminole Big Cypress Big, Preservation. Yeah, Seminole Big Cypress Preservation is really, Cypress really cool. There's so much stuff to do there, but we basically um, stayed on the sides of the roads because we were doing birding and we saw a ton of alligators and just just had a lot of fun. So. Anyway, I my Cricut image, um, my embellishments are due. I think this is number 13. And Misha had challenged me to do four different Cricut embellishments. Two of them had to be flowers. So I used the Accent Essentials Cricut cartridge. And I used this flower on page 55. And this was cut out at two and a half inches. No, wait, let me make sure. <laughs> no, I, I fibbed. One and a half. Okay, so this is my first flower. And I did three of them because I'm actually doing some baby albums that were pre-ordered or custom ordered. So I just kept it simple. I did a darker pink and a lighter pink. I'll just show you one at a time. Um, petal. And I just kind of pushed it up a little bit to get some dimension out of it. And then I used this really pretty um, like silk rose in the center. And then I have a little ladybug button that I cut the shank off. And then you can see I have different types of leaves in the background. Those leaves came from the branches with leaves Sizzix dye. I love this dye. It's one of my favorite. Um, and then I just glittered up the light pink petal. So that's my first flower. And then my second flower I used from, let's see, this Cricut cartridge actually was already in my computer. When I got it, I have the Cricut Expressions too, um, and it's the Cricut Alphabet. So I went to page 23, and I decided to do this flower here. This one I cut at two inches, and I also did some stamping, and I made three of these as well. And that's how they turned out. I used my little Martha Stewart. Um, let me show you one at a time so you can see it closer. Martha Stewart Butterfly Punch. And I inked up the edges of the butterfly with some dusty Concord. I also off stamped on the leaves with peeled paint. And then I stamped out Tiny Miracle with the dusty Concord as well. Used my white jelly roll pen in the center of the flower there. And the only thing that I popped up was the flower petal. But that's how those turned out. And I used a little, two little rhinestones in the centers. So those are my two different flowers. And then I used two different images from the same Cricut Alphabet cartridge. I made the stroller here. And the stroller I made two different ways, which I'll show you. And then I also did the baby bottle. And these I cut out, I think, at two and a half inches. Yes. Okay, so these are my baby bottles. And they came out really, really cute. Um, the nipple on the baby bottle, I just colored up a little bit, like really lightly with my peach... Um, <laughs> colored pencil, sorry, <laughs> couldn't think of the name, and then I glossy accented it just to kind of 
I don't know, make it look different. And then I used a little bit of Bling Flourish and I stamped out with the peeled paint Welcome Little One on it. And just paper pieced it flat. There's no real dimension on that one. So that's my baby bottle. And then my fourth embellishment, I did it two different ways. So you can cut the stroller out with, oh, now I lost my page, guys, I'm so sorry. Give me a sec, here we go. When you make the stroller, you get the stroller itself, okay? And then you get this piece to go on top, to paper piece. But you can also do, like, you see the pink here? You can do the pink blackout shadow piece if you want to. So my first stroller, I did do the shadow piece. And I ran the bottom part of the um, stroller part here through my cuddle bug with my polka dot folder. And I just used a little bit of, of that uh, Dusty Concord to ink it up. I stamped out Precious, used three lavender pearls, and then it punches out a heart shape right here. So I just used the heart so I didn't waste anything up here on top to decorate the stroller. So that's how those three turned out. And then I did another stroller without the shadow piece. And I actually like how both of them turned out. They're both a little different. I stamped out with my peekaboo stamp, a little tag, and then I cut it out, <clears throat> punched a hole, and used... Um, grommet, is that how you say that? <laughs> um, to attach the little tag. And then I have these bows and little pearl things in my stash. And then I just drew on polka dots with my jelly roll pen up here and around the wheels. And then a little accent inside the heart. And I ran this through my cuddle bug as well with the dusty concord. So there's a pink one and like a, a, ye a yellow color with the pearls and then this is like a beige colored pearl. So those are my four different Cricut images embellishments and I'm going to be adding these into some custom baby albums and this week's challenge I challenged Misha to alter a canvas or a wall plaque, make a wall plaque. So we can do either one. We only need one Cricut image and it can be in any theme. So I'm hoping to have that done by Sunday. And thank you guys for waiting. I should have had this up yesterday, but like I said, celebrating my anniversary and he's still home today, which is great. He has off and I think I'm gonna do like two more videos and get those finished and then we're gonna do crafty shopping. Yay! <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he's thrilled. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. Have a great day.